Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Air Tycoon Online 3. Now, this is an interesting episode because I'm not going to be playing on this world and the reason is I am 5th. Now, I'm not going to restart this world, but I'm just curious on how all these PETA players with a higher current rank than me ha are doing it. And that makes me think that my start might not be ideal. So, what I have done is I've found an app. Um, app cloner, which has allowed me to clone multiple versions of Air Tycoon Online. So now I can play Air Tycoon Online um, with multiple instances, basically. Uh, let's see. Let me just find the music and disable that. So, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be trying three different strategies uh, for Air Tycoon Online starting. This world will be what I call the expensive starting option, where Basically, I use expensive aircraft um, and try and get a high net profit right off of that as a starting method. Um, one plane I'm going to use, I'm going to buy one of these cargo aircraft um, because I know it is capable of maxing out, basically, on the first turn. I'm pretty, pretty sure um, if it's not unlucky, who cares, I'll get the cargo uh, I'll unlock the second turn. What I mean by the cargo unlock is um, this thing, this 40,000 cash here. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making all these worlds and I'm going to be coming back in a couple days uh, without touching anything from the time I make it and see which one has gained the most value. Um, if any of them have more value than my current company, well then obviously my current company is not being operated properly on. I also will come on within these two days um, to try and uh, improve these companies. So like if I have cash, I'll spend it on aircraft and use it, etc, etc, etc. So one thing I need to be sure to accomplish is I need to get 10 routes. Um, so in order to do this, I'm certain I will need to buy at least a single DC-8. Um, I'm going to buy one aircraft at a, at a time as I use them, basically. Um, and this is basically just a precaution, which will allow me to um, almost certainly manage to get the 10 route 100k unlock. So basically every world starts with 700,000 cash on the first turn uh, to keep things nice and even, you know what I mean? Now, uh, what did I want to do? So London to Paris will, of course, be the first cargo route. Um, so we're going to need some slots and that kind of thing. Uh, what am I going to be doing for my stopover route? Uh, well, we can choose the pretty beefy stopover routes because, of course, there's not much to compete with right now. Um, yeah, as you can see, there's not much on the map at all. Uh, obviously, nobody's like, even on the server yet. I think I was the first one when I registered. It said zero. Uh, I don't know how I'm so lucky that I'm able to consistently find these servers with literally nobody on them yet and be the first one. I don't know. It's pretty lucky, but um, it's good fun. So this uh, world where I'm going to be doing something like something like this. Um, yep, that should be a good stopover route. Uh, for some reason, I was thinking about something else. Sorry, I was, like, talking slow there. Um, I feel like I often do that. Now, what's a good starting price? I don't know, probably just neutral. If you don't know, neutral is probably pretty good. Uh, of course, we're going to need a new preset. So, uh, I, if I remember correctly, for this range route, you just quite simply need the best possible preset um, for, you know, a two-meal route. And I'm going to be doing that for the second half of the route additionally. Um, okay. Why aren't the lines don't show on the first turn? That's really distracting. Uh, oh, it's because I'm on cargo. I'm on passenger now? There we go. First lines on the map, boys. First lines on the map. I know other people probably have already made mounts, routes. The uh, routes just haven't registered and they haven't shown up yet. So, what plane do I want to be buying? I think I'm going to be primarily buying... DC-8s, because I think they're just better, um, better than the Boeing um, 707. The Boeing 707, I think, actually has a higher profit ratio, so meaning, or ROI time, I don't know how to call it, like, um, 
I think in finance, the, the term is ROI time. I don't even know what ROI time stands for, but it's something to do with the how long it takes for your thing to pay for itself. So how long is it going to take for my um, for my plane to pay for itself? I think the 707 actually has a faster uh, like time to pay for itself compared to my uh, DC-8s or um, uh, like any other plane, basically. But I choose to use the DC-8s because I can use stopovers, and that will basically um, have the same effect as doubling the demand of routes so that they fill up easier, basically. Um, it's more likely that the DC-8 will be 100% occupancy with a higher price than the Boeing 707 uh, without you know a good route. So basically, that's why. Um, I'm going to be using DC-8s. Now, I'm going to do min price for this cargo route just for this one turn with the sole purpose of trying to max out uh, the amount of cargo I get. Now, because I'm using DC-8s, I don't actually have to make that many routes. Um, I think I'll just do, I guess, the triangle of good cities over here for my stopovers, which include Louisville, Memphis, uh, even Cincinnati. And then on the other side, I don't know, I'll look. I don't really want to use Mumbai and Delhi because I have a feeling those routes will uh, pick up competition. And because I'm not going to be managing this account or anything very frequently, I'm just going to be coming on here to make sure that this test works, um, which um, I'm going to start it today and do a wrap up basically on my next episode. Uh, so, yeah. I am, let's see, where can I, where can I fly to? Nairobi's good. Uh, Nairobi's actually not that big, but it's just a good distance from London. And Lagos is not that good distance, but, you know, uh, it probably won't pick up competition to London real soon. And the same story with Monrovia. Monrovia is actually really good. Um, so, yeah, I love the fast slot requests, by the way. Like, it is actually such a blessing. <laughs> um, yeah. Once once you get the like three minute, five minute slot request times, this it's just hard to feel this this like the game to be this fun again. Um, so I'm probably gonna do this. Uh, I'm not sure if that's gonna give me three or four schedules, uh, four. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna be pretty profitable. Um, yeah. So I know both these routes are over five thousand k. Uh, so this preset is probably perfect. Um, and how many more planes did I have? Okay, I need to order more DC-8s. Uh, DC-8, DC-8. I feel like I can quite safely order two without accidentally splurging all my money. So let's order two this time. Uh, yep, I still have 250,000 left. Uh, there's that 10 credit unlock. That's the 100,000 unlock I want to get before the end of this episode. I actually think this will definitely be more profitable because each DC-8 functions like two routes. Um, you just don't get the unlocks as fast. I think that's going to be the trade-off, and I think it's going to be a superior trade-off. I think that this company will be more successful than my main company, actually, which is kind of sad. But that's okay. I'll find a way to pull ahead in my main company. Uh, one way or another, unless, you know, those uh, current top players actually just an insanely knowledgeable player about the game or insanely active or has credits for airports or something like that, then maybe I won't be uh, pulling away from him anytime soon. But other than that, I have a feeling I'll be able to do okay. So this, if this is still four scheduled, I'll be amazed. It should, it should be three. Wow, it's still four. That's, um, surprising actually <laughs> that's quite surprising um yeah so once again uh, best preset um another thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try one world with high advert okay i know that world with at high advertising expenses will lose so i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna make sure i have no advertising expense because i'm not sure what it does but i just want to see what happens if i don't have it um, like if I have a customer service level of zero, quote unquote, with zero investment, what happens? Does it, does it make a difference? I don't know. It's time to actually find out. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I guess we're just going to continue to make more routes. I guess, uh, there's not much more to do. Now, I'm not taking the major cities. As you can clearly see, I'm avoiding the major cities, which might seem weird to some of you 
uh, players who haven't watched me play before. Um, but the reason for this is I simply don't want to deal with the eventual competition that uh, the larger routes will bring, um, not might bring, will bring. Um, it might take until 1970, 1980 for that route to get competition. But by the time my company is that large, where I have, you know, um, like in like, I don't know, at that point in the game, I might have, you know, 1,300 aircraft. There's no chance I'm going to have the time to look through all my routes to find the ones with competition and then uh, go on to remove them. Basically, I just don't think that is like humanly possible, basically. So with that in mind, that that's basically why I'm choosing to um, just avoid the large cities in the first place so I never have to deal with that. That is also another one of the advantages of starting a game late on. Um, if you start a game in 1970 or something, then you know exactly which routes are taken and which routes aren't taken. And the routes which aren't taken, there aren't very many good ones anymore, so you don't feel uh, inclined to try and um, compete or anything. You just make uh, whatever Monopoly routes you can scramble up, and they don't get very much competition usually. So that's a pretty... Um, interesting side effect of starting late into a round, I guess. Um, another one is that because you start with so much more cash, you start at level 2. So that is one thing which I really don't like. Um, level 2 is a significant nerf to uh, like level 1, basically, where because you essentially have instant slot requests and instant plane requests, you can do some ridiculous things. Like, if you always... When you join, you should always be level 1, in my opinion. Um, it just... Just would provide so much, so much value. Like, um... Yeah, imagine starting with, like, 2.5 million and then having instant slot requests. You could order, um, like, if you could start in 1960, 1970, you could basically order the smallest possible aircraft in Tupolev's literally not do anything with them and just lease 747s off of that you could start with a fleet of 100 747s on the first turn almost like you know what i mean like you could do some not 100 that's an exaggeration maybe like 40 or 50 but you could do some insane things if um level you could have level two start basically um yeah that's a pretty funny idea i'm gonna try that actually is uh start in a world where the 747 is already there and use Tupolevs and other smaller aircraft <laughs> to just in order to enable the lease, leases of the 747. That sounds like a really fun idea I want to try now. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I still have a lot and a lot of money. Now, uh, my inventory is 7, so not great, not bad. But I should be able to do a considerable number of leases. Um probably more than I want to be honest um and because that's all the lease leases of DC8s I really want because I can't think of that many more uh stopover routes right off of that uh I might invest into a little bit more cargo and one or two mid mid-range routes in order to get my passengers up I think that's a good idea um a couple like 707 120s uh, I might make just to increase my passenger count a little bit. I think that's a good idea. Now, one thing I'm trying to decide on is, is it worth connecting to some of the smaller cities, quote-unquote, like Philly? I think I should do it. I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to use Philadelphia and Washington. Even though these are routes which might get competition, I don't think people will prioritize them. They would rather go to Charlotte, Atlanta, Chicago, New York, or Boston. That's what I would do at least. So hopefully these don't get uh, overlapped too quickly. Um, yeah, we can just quickly uh, quickly set these routes up. So yeah, mm -hmm. guess I don't have much to say. I just really want to find out the results. Oh yeah, one thing I need to not forget to do is to lower. Um, Why is my train of thought not going? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, to, to not lower, to increase the number of 
Wait, what? London. No, I need more slots, I guess. Okay, so what I was going to say, I think, is I needed to do this. Um, for some reason, words just don't come to my head sometimes. What, what I'm thinking makes complete sense in my head, but is probably close to an unintelligible on unintelligible gibberish to most people so yeah sorry about that um is i need to increase this so you know i don't end up with the first turn insane bottleneck or something like that um so yeah you know what i'm gonna do is no i'm not gonna cut i'm not gonna cut because if i cut and something goes wrong and i have to edit oh not the worst the worst editing even just stitching together clips Though I am using a new screen recorder now, so hopefully it is making gonna make my life easier. Um, and you know, just for the sake of testing the screen recorder, I'm gonna pause and unpause. And that worked. Cool. This screen recorder does seem to be better than the other screen recorder I was using. Sorry, AZ screen recorder. I did enjoy you, but I feel like you are gonna get replaced now. I think I'm going to get a 120. I think the 120 is better than the 320, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to order one of these. I don't know why I said that like a question. I'm going to order one of these. Um, let's order one of these. And let's order one of these. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have ordered one of those because now I don't have enough money for multiple cargo freighters. But that's fine. Uh, basically, what I want to do is I want to put this on a short range route like uh, London to Frankfurt, and basically, or I'll do London to Paris, why not? Um, and basically with the intention of having a very, very massive passenger count, um, just so I can you know, boost up my passenger counts a little bit in order to get some of those unlocked so I can spend that money in the next couple turns. So, so yeah, let's go. Uh, London to Paris passenger... Nice and sure range, Boeing 707. Short range rounds aren't good in another sense that uh, they're less efficient because your time plane spends more time on the ground than in the air. Um, so yeah, that's just something to keep in mind. Uh, so I need to create a new preset. Uh, let's do something like something like this. There we go. 38%, that's too low. That's still 38%. Why is that so low? Oh. What? Did I... There we go, 65. That's, that's more like it. Uh, there we go, open a new route. So. What inventory do I have? None. Oh, I have two DC-8s. Wait, what? Oh, least aircraft show up in a different column now. Okay, I see. Wait, no, I don't have two DC-8s. Those aren't unused at least. I see, I see. I have zero unused aircraft, and I have 120k. So one of them, I want to be a freighter, because freighters are very... They're very uh, brain-dead way to make profit, um, if that's what, how I want to put it. Um... So I'm just going to normal order this freighter. Uh, let's see. Uh, where do I want a freighter? In, let's do... It's going to be the most profitable. Madrid. Nope. It's going to be Moscow. Moscow will be the most profitable. So let's do London to Moscow. Uh, that should be good. That should be good. Um, I think I'm going to need a couple more slots too. And I'm probably also able to lease another DC-8 now. That is indeed the case. Um, but I'm not... Mm, I'm not even going to. I'm going to buy a 707. Um, or lease a 7... Oh. Shoot. Oh. oh. The first 707 is fucked up. Oh, that sucks. The first 707 has got the wrong classes, the wrong size classes and stuff like that. Oh, well. That's okay. That is really not the end of the world. 
But yeah, once again, just gonna open up this cargo route real good. Let's open it up. That should be, you know, all we need. And then I'm gonna open London to, I don't know, something for passengers' sake. So passengers for passengers' sake. So it's gonna gotta be Frankfurt, I guess. Now I know these min price routes will really hurt my net profit initially. But I'm going to move these routes, um, these planes onto good routes the very next turn. So don't worry about that. Um, I'm going to have good satisfaction, or not good satisfaction, good profit. Um, basically just by moving these planes from bad, these bad routes to th some good routes. Um, let me see if I'm able to lease even one more. Okay, no, that's all the quick, like, that's all that's allowed basically. I know I have 30,000. And I could buy a plane like a Caraba one, but I'm not even going to because I think that plane is probably the likely reason why my current company is not doing too well. I don't think the Caraba one is a good aircraft. So, yep, yeah, there we go. That is going to be this company. Um, I hope it does well. So, on to the next. Uh, so, I don't have it. I think I have it prepared. Yep. So here is the second instance of Air Tycoon Online. Uh, hopefully all my settings for my screen recorder are doing good and everything will stay uh, recording in landscape and not, you know, turn into a really small box from this point onward or something like that. It says that it won't run with Google Play services, but clearly it does. Uh, so that's pretty nice. So I don't know what happens if I delete this app. What happens to these accounts? I don't know. So let's call this Thunder Test 2. Um, I just call it Test 1 because I typed that 1. Um, and once again, same server. And this airline is going to be a cargo specific airline. So uh, Canada. And let's call this Thunder. Tests. Uh, that's not spelled right. Thunder test one. Okay. Test Q. Okay, we're called test Q now. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love it. So the sad thing is, you know, I'm doing these just completely for fun, willy nilly. Who cares? You know what I mean? And I'm sure I'm going to be one of the top companies in the world regardless. So believe it or not, I'm going to choose Los Angeles as my hub. And this is because this is going to be a cargo only airline. Now, I don't know how viable a cargo only airline is. Like, let me be real. <sighs> so we're going to find out together. Um, I couldn't think of another way I wanted to start other than because if you can think about it, the world I currently am in is kind of the third world. The world I'm currently in is a cheap plain expensive plane mix because i use a mix of dc8s and caraval ones i use the caraval ones in order to allow for leases of dc8s um and i feel like that's a decent way to do it but the caraval ones are kind of a letdown they're not nearly as good as i thought they would be so i don't think that's a viable strategy um so this is going to be the cargo only airline so let's start by leasing or buying five cargo aircraft. Now I do want to hit route targets because that is really beneficial in this game. So I'm gonna show you how guys uh, how I'm gonna be doing that later on. But for now, I'm just gonna get ready uh, with my slot request, just examining the business and the business number only to figure out how viable these routes are. So um, I know I could get competition, but there's not a lot of competition in cargo um, in Air Tycoon Online Three for whatever reason. I don't know why I'm also going to disable the music because I realize that might be quite loud and I don't want to try and be speaking over the music uh, no matter what volume it is in the recording. So uh, I'm not going to be doing runs like uh, LA to Detroit as good as they might be because I know for a fact that they're not going to last too long without being overlapped. But even routes like... Uh, Atlanta, or um, maybe even Boston. Let's see. I don't even have that much money, so I gotta 
pulled back for a second. Oh, Seattle is very good. Seattle is very, very good. Right, right, right. Uh, I might not end up using all these slots, but, you know, might as well have them. I think Boston. Oh, Boston's terrible. Never mind. Okay. So this is probably good then. Um, so what are we uh, What are we doing? We are making a cargo airline. Right, right, right. So cargo. I uh, got to buy our cargo, cargo hubs, of course. Um, so the trick with cargo is you don't max the price and you don't start by maxing the price. Wow, schedules by plane 30. I'm just too triggered, man. I cannot, I cannot do it. I must, I must, <laughs> I must freaking, um, do it in one go, basically. Oops. I'm so used to clicking passengers, I guess. So, yeah, let's just, let's just start opening cargo routes. Now, one reason I love cargo routes is they take so few clicks. There, done. Cargo route. It's amazing. Like, passenger routes, you gotta select this, you gotta select that, itty, 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 you know, whatever, you know what I mean. A lot of clicks to make one route. This is fast, it's nice, it's simple, I don't have to think, I just pick the cities, I click them, and it's good, you know what I mean? That's what I love about cargo routes. Um, so, what did I say about hitting uh, hitting route goals? Right, I need 10 routes, so how many planes of this do I have? Uh, I have 7, so that means I need to lease 2 DC-8s to hit the... the Whoops, I do not want to spend 100 credits. I don't have 100 credits. Um, yep, so Dallas is definitely a good one. So I think I chose LA because I think it has the highest business in the world. London is a close second. Um, but there's a, a, a lot of good business options in the United States. There also is a lot of good business options in Europe. Um, but L LA is just slightly larger so i chose la basically uh simple simple decision making there um yeah i also don't know how many what was i gonna say okay i don't know like i need to learn to freaking talk without losing my train of thought do you guys know a way where i can train myself to talk without losing my train of thought like one way i can do it is by not talking so fast and basically letting words build up in my head as I talk that way you know I have a constant stream of information rather than me talking out everything I can like think of and then running out of things to talk about like if I'm talking at the speed I am talking now I know I'm not gonna run out of things to talk about but for some reason I feel really odd talking this speed this is not the speed I talk I usually talk around this fast uh, even when I'm talking with, you know, friends or, like, anyone, basically, I'm talking really fast with pauses in between. I don't know why. That's just me. Um, but I guess talking slowly is probably better for YouTube, even because people will then, you know, have... Okay, like, I was just trying to prove a point that if I talk slowly, I won't run out. Uh, my train of thought won't break so easily, but I was completely wrong, and my train of thought broke. Anyway, so that's pretty sad, but, um, yep, yeah. <laughs> it's just so sad, okay, um, is there anywhere to, okay, that's just so far, um, alright, so if I make this stopover route, will I have enough routes? I think I'll have nine, <laughs> I'm gonna have nine routes after this, so I'm gonna need to make one more stopover route, um, I think I need to buy another DC-8 then, I think. Oh, oh, I think I misclicked a couple times. Yep, we're going to need to make a new preset. Best 2. And there we go. So yeah, I'm really losing my train of thought. I guess I'm a bit tired. I had a total of an hour of sleep last night, believe it or not. Um, you probably believe it. You have no reason not to believe it. So with an hour of sleep, I guess brain stops, you know, doing good. <laughs> so, so, yep. Don't you love that I didn't pick LA and I clicked Ivern and Irene or whatever instead? So hopefully I can use this somehow. Um, I didn't think it through, so hopefully I can. Oh, did I get it? 
Okay, I got the five routes. I need the ten routes. I need the ten routes. So, oh, but God is closer. God damn it. Um, you guys are about to see why I, I'm saying god damn it. <laughs> I'm going to have to delete that other route, I think. I think. I think this is going to tell me it's invalid. Yep. So. Routes. You know what I may have done is made a mistake by not choosing one bit. But at the same time, I didn't want to compete with my other city. So, you know, give my other cities a fair... If I had to compete with myself while playing Air Attack, I wouldn't do very well. <laughs> I mean, we'd all have the same idea and whatnot. Aww. I can use Honolulu? Honolulu? No, Honolulu is so small. I think we have to use Honolulu anyway. Uh, how far is like this? Not very far. How far is like that not very far I dug myself into a hole <laughs> I think I'll just buy 707 this should solve my problems actually um yeah I'll just hopefully I didn't select outright hopefully this is a lease And it was Elise. Good job, me, for not being an idiot. Okay. Um, we're gonna need to make Los Angeles something. Let's do LA to New York. Now, I'm basically trolling. It's gonna get overlapped, but it would be so cool to have it for even one turn, you know what I mean? Uh, just say, I have LA to New York, which is probably the third biggest possible route in the game. The only one bigger is LA to London, and London to New... No, I think... Yeah, no, it's the second biggest route in the game. Yep, yeah, second biggest route in the game, so that's not bad. Mm, let's also recreate this route. The only stopover I can think of. <laughs> uh, it's so sad that now you can only use certain airports as stop as stopovers. Um, before, you could use any city as the middle of a stopover, but now that city has to be hub-enabled. So basically, in Air Tycoon, we lost most of the viable... most of the viable freaking routes uh so that's really sad now this is such a good route i'm gonna increase the price a little because i think i think that um it's gonna go go be full so i'm not sure is that 100 percent? okay it's 100 percent. i'm not gonna overthink and try and you know minimize because those few dollars only matter um once these companies get very large, but they're not going to get very large because I'm going to stop playing before then. Unless I start to enjoy this world more than the other world for some reason, then of course I will move to this one. But I somehow doubt that's going to happen because my friend is in that other world. So that's hopefully going to be the reason why I don't quit like I usually do. You know, I usually get to a certain point and then I'm like bored. I'm like, hey, why the frick am I going to bother to continue? I don't really feel like playing this game. So might want want to do anything something else, you know what I mean? But the fact that my friend is in there, oh, and he's usually somebody who once he is committed, committed, then he's gonna follow through basically. So now that he's committed on that world, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get close to finishing it. Um, which means I'll probably see that and be like, hey, I should finish this world too, and then hopefully I'll get to the end. So, yeah, that's nice. Uh, let's do some cargo. Yeah, let's do some cargo. Why not? Cargo is good. I've been doing cargo this whole time. Jesus Christ. Like, my brain is literally fried. Like, I need to freaking go to sleep, I think. I think I need to go to sleep. Um, but, yeah. I, just, I, think, I think they should unlock the 100k, right? Yep, there we go. Nice and calculated. And that will allow us to buy another two... Sweet, that is really, really clean in terms of money efficiency. I managed to use almost all of it. Um, which, to be honest, I'm pretty chuffed about that. That's that's nice. Um, Boston's big. Uh, Charlotte. Charlotte's big. All right, we're doing Charlotte. We're doing Charlotte and Memphis. 
Memphis ain't as big as Boston, but Memphis is unknown. So hopefully it doesn't pick up the competition now. <laughs> you see how fast it is to do freaking cargo routes? This this one was done in like a few minutes. Like that was that was good. I'm getting a headache. I need to get some water soon. Oh god. Let's quickly wrap up this recording so that, you know, I can go do those kind of things and get this uploaded, I guess. Uh so boom. And a boom, boom, boom. There's only one more thing I need to do, I think. Oh. It's like I rain again. Oh, God. Come on. Don't misclick. Open route. And done. Okay. Now all I have to do is go to Los Angeles. And... Where is this? Let's get like 10 of those. 11, why not? Yeah, I'll get like 3, maybe 4. Let's get 4 to be safe. So, yeah. Basically, that's all I really wanted to do. And next episode, I'm going to be checking back on these worlds uh, so we can see the progress. So we have basically 3 worlds now. Passenger expensive planes. We have cargo expensive planes and we have like a mix on my main account right here so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'm pretty tired now it's pretty long and i'll see you guys next time peace